This is NJ Devil Fan 26 and today I'm going back to some of my Blackberry videos and I thought that I would show you guys a really cool new and free theme that I found for the storm. Um it's a iPhone 3G inspired theme, so I already have it downloaded. The link will be in the description right over there. And I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. Right now I have the regular Blackberry Storm theme that comes with it with a custom background that came with the storm. So to put on this new theme, let me scroll down to options. Scroll all the way down and you'll see theme over there. And you'll see I have the precision set the precision zen, which is active right now, which is the default theme. I have a TI blue theme, TI uh storm theme, which I found on the Crackberry website. And this one that I found just Googling around. So let me click on that. You guys can see there's a screenshot right over there. So just click on it. Press, and it will be active in a second. Let me just go back. Alright, so now you guys can see right over here. It looks very similar to the iPhone, has all the same icons. We have the Safari for browser, iPod for media, search for search, obviously. And this is just for the music player. We have the SMS logo for MMS, and when the 3.0 firmware comes out, um, and this theme is updated, there will actually be an MMS logo, not logo, icon as well. We have fi the Finder icon that you'll find on all your Macs for help. The regular default mail icon for mail and etc. You guys can also see here that if I click on one, let me show you. Bring the BlackBerry closer so you guys can see it. When I click on it, it dims a little bit. See, and tells you the name of it. And normally these applications aren't here when you have the regular Precision Zen theme. So let me just to prove to you guys that thing works. Let me just click on calculator right there, and the calculator pops up. Go back. So I click on the camera icon right there, and just wait for a second. And we have the camera right over here. You guys can see. Actually, you guys can't see that. My bad. I can only see that. You can see uh, my finger over here. The camera is working. You can see the camera icon. Let me just close that. You guys might also notice that it's a little bit different when you actually uh, press the close button and such. See if I hold down the BlackBerry button. Um, just has the regular icons that the theme would. If you click on the BlackBerry button, um, you'll notice that you'll be able to move your thing like you would when you regularly uh, click on the regular home screen. You can't do that though because you have your apps there. But it does activate all of your apps right now. If you go back from that, just press N. It says you can slide to the right over here has a little icon that the iPhone does but you can't really do that but still looks nice definitely it's very nice for a free theme um, like I said the link for it will be in the description right over there um, also I forgot to show you guys if you turn it sideways it has a dock right over there and you can just scroll on your merry way Alright guys, so stay tuned for all my other videos for exclusive content. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash njdevilfan26. Um, in a couple of minutes, I'm going to be filming another video because I've decided that I wanted to update my BlackBerry to the new version, which is .113. Uh, it's supposedly going to be officially released by RIM and Verizon in about a week, but I've been looking through and apparently it fixes a ton of bugs. So I'm just going to update that and show you guys how to do that because it is a simple but process, but if you screw up, um, it is hard to fix. It is fixable, but it is hard to fix. And then I believe later today I will be receiving my Switch Easy thumbtack for the iPod second generation. And you guys will see more of that in that video. So guys, again... For exclusive content, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash njdelfan26. Or you guys can just simply drop me a line if you have any questions at njdelfan26 at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.